What's going on, Kane Sport here at the Under Armour All-American Game with 2024 Miami signee Ryan Mack. Ryan, how are we doing today? I'm doing good. Excited to be here. Now, you're competing against some of the best players in the country, a lot of South Florida guys here as well. Just how are you feeling you know, being here in Orlando? What are some goals this week? Uh, it feels great uh, being around all the, all the top athletes in the country, of course. And, you know, it's, it's good to compete against the level of guys that I'll be competing against in college. Uh, yeah. And then five Hurricane signees here, you know, yourself, JoJo, Elijah Lofton, Pickett, and um, Darius Hayes. Just how cool is that to see five of your future or four of your future teammates here as All-Americans with you as well? Uh, it gives me a, a sense that we're going to have something special coming in with this class and all the, a lot of All-Americans playing in the game. And then Adarius is going to be playing on the other team well, for you guys on one team. Just how interesting is that going to be playing against him? Obviously, you know, he, you guys both play defense, but how cool is that? You know, that's, that's real cool. It's something, uh, something for JoJo to look forward to and, and uh, Elijah. But, yeah. And then with you locked in with Miami early and stayed locked in throughout the whole process, just why was, you know, Coral Gables and the Hurricanes and that program the perfect place for you? Uh, it feels like home. Like, I don't know how to explain, it just feels like home and, and the coaches maybe feel like I'm meant to be there. And then speaking of home, your father Rod Mack played for, you know, Miami in the in the 90s. How special is that for you to be able to follow in his footsteps and then create your own legacy as a Hurricane? Um, it's always been a dream of mine since I was little, you know, growing up I would always watch the games and stuff like that. He would take me, show me his film and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just like a dream come true. And then Coach Mack, or Rod, was also your coach of the Miami Gardens Ravens, that special team. You know, how was it playing underneath your father growing up, you know, and what are some things that you take away from, you know, playing underneath him that you still carry with you today? Um, I feel like he coached all of us hard and gave us a lot of life lessons and a lot of on-the-field lessons that carried over to the next level to high school and really prepared us for, like, most things up to this point. And then for you, how special is it to see, you know, all your guys that you grew up with, you know, playing Division One football and you guys are going to be playing together. Some of you guys, you know, Chance, JoJo, yourself. Yeah, it's real special because, of course, we grew up together since we were like 9, 10, some of us 8. So it's, it's special seeing all of them play on the next level. And hopefully they, they all play on Sundays too. And then for you, what did you realize, like, hey, I can take this, you know, football thing seriously? Was there like one breakout game when you were younger or just when did you realize you had that special talent? Uh, really, when I was like, like as soon as I started playing football, I, I wanted to take it serious. You know, it just, it just felt great. And then for you, just outside of football, who's Ryan Mack? What are some things you like to do when you're not, on, you know, on the gridiron? Um, I like to hang out with friends, with my girlfriend. I like to, uh, I read some books too. I play video games, and yeah, those are some things I do. If you weren't playing football, what career path or what would you, you know, pursue? Uh, I'm planning on majoring in business and finance. So in that in that career. career okay. And the, at St. Thomas, sounds crazy, but five straight state yeah. titles. You're a part of, you know, it all. How special is that to you to, you know, go throughout high school just winning state titles, you know, back to back to back to back? Uh, it felt great. There was no, there was never really like a doubt in my mind that we wouldn't win states though. But I never, I never realized that it was that rare until we got to, until we got to the uh, fifth year. To be honest, was there one year that was really special to you, or one that you know kind of stands out? I feel like my last year was special because they put me more of in a higher role compared to the other years. You know, I was a, I was one of the good players on the team, but it wasn't like they weren't expecting me to lead the team as opposed to this year where they expected all the seniors to lead and stuff like that. So it just felt great leading all the DBs to win another state championship. So right now, I was at one of the playoff games versus Dillard. You had that big pick six. Yeah. Just throughout the course of this year, you mentioned you kind of got a bigger role. Where do you feel like you've grown as a player the most on and off the field? Um, I feel like I've grown to be more, uh, more vocal on the field and communicate better with my teammates and stuff like that. And on the field, I just feel like I've done better at leading them and you feel me, take responsibility and stuff like that. And then heading to Coral Gables, just what are some of your goals and what are you looking forward to the most when you get down in your official hurricane? Uh, some of my goals are to be the best player I could be, of course, and to uh, take, take the team to the national championship. And then just to wrap it up, what's your message to the Hurricanes fans out there? 
Uh, we got we got a few big years coming up for the next three to four years. The 24 class is going to be real special. For, sure. for Ryan Mack, I'm Azubi Charles. Thank you all for watching.